Yo, man, a squad, if you like any of the cards you see in today's video, make sure to hit up the affiliate link down below to TCG Player. You can help look up some of your local game stores in the process and help show the channel some love. And you know you got to look good while you play in order to play good. So make sure you hit up our link to Into the AM as well. We have the discount code down in the description below. Look, you got to listen to Kenneth the Heathen. He always says something about dripping in space and, and, and screaming. I, we don't know what it means, but, but, but do what the man says. And last but not least hit up heavy play heavy play is going to have some of the nicest play mats and deck boxes out there their magnet system between their deck box and dice trays and play mat is amazing especially if you're playing at like bars restaurants stuff like that you got to get up and move there is no better way to keep all your stuff together and you can show the channel some love in the process stay petty yo welcome back to one more meta my name is Derek, and today we're getting to the top five most bruh worthy things in Magic Foundations. Look, I had no expectations for this set. I, it was kind of just like there at the end of the year, and it seems amazing. I've heard people who've got to play it so far. It seems cool. The, the reprints are great. The new cards are great. It really just feels like a, a trip back to Magic after so many of the other sets kind of just feel so, so different, to, to put it nicely. So this seems amazing. I know people are hyped for it. And these cards got me feeling some type of way. Look, it is Thursday night. I am hyped off of Eagles dub on Thursday night football, and I am ready to go on some unhinged rants. Fly Eagles, fly Saquon. I love you. Now let's get into these top five cards. If you aren't familiar with these videos, these are cards that make me feel some type of way. I want to channel the godfather of bruh himself plies and let you know how I'm feeling about this set in the only way I know how. So at number five, the number five most bro worthy thing in this set I mentioned it's like a trip back to magic, but but I see some subtle just there's some subtleties in we're going universes beyond without even realizing it. And you might say, what do you mean? Well, there's some crossovers you may not have even noticed. Look, I get it. It's magic, but we also got Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You cannot tell me Yugi. That's a red eyes black dragon. 100%. And I love it. I love the subtle knot. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I see what you're doing and I'm liking it. We also look, if you're not a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, maybe you're more of a Pokemon person bam that's a mother effing charizard i know it the sparkly borders and stuff i've seen pokemon cards like that i see what's happening and i'm on to you and last but not least probably my favorite of all it's street sharks i'm pretty sure it's street sharks i the thing with the sharks run through the streets and come out i had little action figures as a kid we got a street shark on a boat i guess it's like a sea, sh a sea shark is a shark it's some variation of a street shark and I'm loving it. Look, these the arts are ridiculous in the best ways possible. And instead, and I went on a, a rant to each other about how much like we get Yu-Gi-Oh vibes, we get Pokemon vibes, but kind of in the best way possible. So, bruh, we're liking what you're doing. Now, at number four, number four most bro worthy thing in this set, we're going to talk about Coma. Look, the funniest thing is when this new Coma got revealed, I immediately just thought it was a reprint of old Coma. I was like, yeah, I'm skipping this. I don't even want to, I don't even want to read this text again and put myself through the misery of remembering that this card exists. And then like, <laughs> I think it was literally like a week and a half later before someone told me like, no, no it's a different Coma. And, and this one's cool. I, it's still got some like crazy ward and protection and trample and camp, camp, all these things. And when it hits, you get a whole bunch of coils. But like, obviously this is like, at least for Commander, like a strictly fixed version of Coma, fixed in quotes. But look, I've had so much PTSD from having to see regular Coma at a table. I blame Ken, Kennethy and my, our friend Danny 100% for this issue. I'm probably still gonna blow up your Coma the first like six months. So I apologize in advance. If you play this new Coma against me and I kind of just twitch a little bit and just throw a pile of removal spells, like not even casting them, but just taking a handful and just throwing that shit yeah I, I i i'm sorry not sorry it, it's it's gonna happen but eventually i'll get used to it and look maybe new coma will become the norm and old coma can go disappear somewhere never to be seen again at number three the number three most bro worthy thing in this set this thing is oh it it's so cute it's the helpful hunter bruh this is the cutest bruh ever it's a little cat it's got a little feather in its mouth if anybody's has cats out there i love so much when cats are proud of themselves for the most random shit possible like you'll have a cat that like brings you a hair tie and will sit there like yeah i did that killed it i drowned it myself i brought it over to you be happy or if you have like more of those like indoor outdoor cats they'll bring you like pieces of lizards for people like I'm from florida so there's lizards everywhere i would get lizard body parts and my little cat shout out to charles 
was just the happiest little dude. Just like, look what I did for you. Now my current cat, Barkevius, he will bring me just random items. If he finds a Q-tip, he's gonna bring me that and say, I did this for you. And I love that. And it's captured in this little hopeful hunter. And he draws you a card. It's just happiness and I, it's, it's too cute. It's going in, oh, it's going in any deck it can because I wanna be reminded of the best little animals in the world bringing us gifts now at number two the number two most bro worthy thing in this set bryce is gonna be the first like side rant thing one of the cards that frustrates me the most playing against the commander and this is gonna be hot take is the loved card is gonti gonti lord of luxury and on a similar note ragavan i'm someone who always talks about like you know you know what if somebody's taking some stuff off the top of your deck this and that it shouldn't matter you're gonna see cards so i'm gonna go on a hypocritical rant and go against that nothing makes me more unhinged than someone taking a card out of my deck and it being face down look you can exile the top 30 cards in my deck and play with them as long as they're face up and i know what i'm losing that's cool i have access to the knowledge of what's happening but if you exile my stuff face down and i don't know my ocd little brain will not stop thinking about what that card is literally is when people gone to me or ragavan is i think the most annoying one because it happens turn one or two or whatever the hell's happening and the whole time if i crack a fetch land if i'm searching for anything the whole time what do they take what do they take i'm just staring at the card what do they take i just drew a card what do they take i can't focus on anything else my brain is so hyper fixated on that that it ruins the rest of everything else for me phone i do not have time right now do not talk to me and that was a commander this is sorry let me get to it bruh the commander yeah rev tithe extractor just anything with tithe is just awful that's what i think it is and just remove all cards with tithe ban them now this would be great at four mana you get a human rogue whenever you attack a creature gets death touch and then you basically do the ragavan thing except you can just keep it forever not till end of turn that's great <sighs> look i get it some people are gonna find this fun i will throw my I have a 10 mana commander i would throw it in front of one of these one one death touchers to prevent my brain from having to deal with this look i'm typically not the salty type but when you take my stuff face down i might have to swing some stuff that way just to resolve things in my brain because my brain does not like to think like that now at number one the number one most bro worthy thing in foundation foundations for me was a fairly easy pick and this is a self bruh just like a bro why do i keep doing this to myself and i'm, and I'm gonna do it again because i do it it's right of the dragon caller four red red for an enchantment it says whenever you cast an instant or sorcery you get a five five red dragon creature token with flying the reason this is bro worthy won this card right it, it is an awesome card but i am the biggest sucker for like six plus mana do nothing enchantments like and the issue is I can never build around them correctly. So if you take stuff like Shark Typhoon or you take stuff like Mines Dilation, or in this case, this, this Dragon Creator or Thousand Year Storm, I immediately see these, a whole bunch of mana, don't do anything on entering. And I'm like, this is the coolest thing ever. Let me build around it. The problem is my brain does not function well in decks that are focused on these types of large enchantments and every time i build a deck it doesn't do what i want it to do and i sit there and i try to play it for months and months and i keep staring at this card like it's beautiful it does what i want and it never and then i see other people play it and bam thousand year storm 700 cards Ooh, i win i see shark typhoon 500 sharks eating my face and it just reminds me one yeah deck building is a, a very specific way i like to build if i'm not punching face probably not for me but two i know i'm gonna fall for it again and I'm going to be aware of it the whole time. And it makes it so much worse. <laughs> that is going to do it for the top five most bro worthy things in foundations. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about the 2024 Philadelphia Eagles in their chat. No, let's <laughs> let me know what you think about magic foundations. I think it's awesome. If you have any favorite cards in the set, how do you feel about the jumpstart? I know I really the only complaint I think I have is that the jumpstart cards are like only uh, the anime arts and not like a a separate version but at this point less card versions i really should not be complaining i really should not be doing that so let me know in the comments below and one last shout out is uh regular command centers with all three of us coming back very soon i was out of the country for a while ken's out of the country so we're all coming back together and we'll have kind of a more normal release schedule with all three of us in the coming week so get ready for that because we got so many unhinged rants to go on and i gotta tell kenny's wrong at least like 30 times in the first video to make up for it so much exciting stuff to come until then stay petty